Ex-stoners of Reddit, what caused you to quit smoking? A few things caused me to quit. I've learned that in practice, I generally fail at moderation. I didn't just smoke whenever I was done with my daily responsibilities, I smoked from the moment I woke up, to the moment I fell asleep. The other reason was because of the side effects of smoking so much high THC bud extract. I started to show signs of paranoia and minor schizophrenia. I started to think people were talking under their breath. My inner dialogue was starting to get more and more negative. I was becoming more antisocial by the day. Lastly, I wasn't very motivated. I didn't want to do anything extra to progress my life path forward. Again, there are people who smoke weed moderately and are plenty successful in their lives. I wish I could just be one of those people who have one toke at the end of a stressful day, kick back and relax. But that was never an option for me. Such is life. Unfortunately I burned away a lot of time in my 20s, where I definitely should have been more focused on learning new skills, getting more experience in my job field, and polishing my social skills. Four years of my life disappeared in a minute, most of my feelings and memories disappeared. When I was late to work because I got off the train and made my way back to my apartment because I left my headphones at home, I searched everywhere and couldn't find them. Then realized I was listening to music through them the entire time. Anxiety and panic attacks. I was also just doing it for the sake of doing it. Nothing against people that still like smoking all the time but it just wasn't for me anymore. Having to pass a piss test and just stay clean since. I went on antidepressants and decided I couldn't expect my mental health to improve when I was smoking every day. Smoking weed took over my life, I was getting high every day and not putting time in my personal projects, I couldn't study music, practice my band's songs, and be present for my wife. I would smoke until passing out on the bed, it wasn't charming at all, plus getting fat from the munchies. I've been clean for 8 months now, and it's been the most productive period since I became a pothead. I am fluent in Spanish when I am sober. After I smoke, I can't understand anything in Spanish. I married a Latina 15 years ago with a family that knows no boundaries nor speaks English. They would always just walk in the house after I smoke and I couldn't communicate. My GF hated it. Hated the way it smelled. Hated the way I acted when I was smoking. Hated how big a part of my life it had become. Frankly the hacking cough didn't help either. It was surprisingly hard to quit but I finally kicked it. Oddly enough, not only is she happier, I've found that I'm happier. Did not expect that at all. Two panic attacks, where I thought my heart would stop. Made me rethink life. Anxiety, brain fog, laziness and so much more. Just stop being fun. I smoked for a damn near decade but at one point I needed to take a drug test so I had to abstain then once I got the job I just died and think about it. I tried it a couple of times but I died and had fun I was just bored. So I just stopped. Probation smoked every day from 14 to 34 years old apart from 4 months last year trying to stop used it as a crutch to deal with childhood trauma etc. Glad I did as I didn't go down darker, more unhealthy paths like siblings did. Stop this year, second time trying, as I'm starting a family and I could get drug tested at my industrial job and have to go back to residential carpentry which would be a big pay cut. Also, I'm much more proactive without it. So basically job security and so that I'm not so lazy miss it, but hopefully this time I can make it stick. Wasn't fun or relaxing anymore, felt like I don't remember who I am. M25 smoked a lot during my teenage years, bad upbringing and never had an issue. Got my medical card at 20. When I was 23-24 it got weird. First time it happened, I was chilling on the couch about to play some COD Warzone with a friend online. 
hit the weed when the game was loading, I usually cornered it so it wasn't a lot. Within 30 seconds, helicopter flying in to start the game. My Apple Watch notified me my heart rate was just over 200 BPM. Me and GF went to the bed and I laid down and she tried to help me relax for like an hour until my heart rate came down. The second time months later I hit the weed, not even a lot, everything was completely fine for 25 minutes, I was just buzzed not even that stone doing stuff on my computer, and then all of a sudden I got an adrenaline or gel feeling and my heart rate jumped to 198 BPM and my Apple Watch alerted me. Then a 2 hour cycle of panicking and trying to relax and get my heart rate down only to get another jolt and be back at almost 200 BPM. Wasn't anxious about anything else, I think it was purely something physical, some kind of bad reaction, or the absolute ridiculous potency of pretty much all medicinal cannabis. Smoked when it helped my anxiety, stopped when it made it worse. I got to the point where I was just smoking way too much, if I died and have to work and wasn't doing anything that day I would smoke two or three joints and then hit the bong several times just to get to where I wanted to be. So I decided to cut back, and over the course of about a year I cut back to the point that a pinner joint was getting me uncomfortably high, so I just said fuck it and quit altogether. I soon came to realize that the last six years were basically a complete blur and I was much more so kale and productive without it, much better off in the end. That was about 2009 I guess. Now I will smoke maybe a couple joints a year if I am drinking and so kaleizing with the right people, and I do enjoy edibles now and then. But there was a solid 10 years in there where I died and touched it at all. Had chronic cough and breathlessness. Also my anxiety worsened. I started to dislike the feeling I rather be clear in my mind, 